All right, we're at the bottom of ink grade. Uh, my my local my lead out today will be local junior racer and uh, and marshal. Uh, what's your full name, Kaz? I'm Casimir de Magre. Casimir de Magre. That's a cool name. Thank you. He's uh you've removed your water bottles. Well, yes. you got one. That's a, that's appropriate. Um, all right, you ready to go? Sam, let's do it. Thanks, man. All right, folks, welcome back to, uh, to Napa. This is the full ink grade climb uh, out of Napa Valley. I thought I would just do kind of the, the full data thing um, since I had the, the entire video. There was a support car with, um, with a GoPro mounted on a little sea sucker on the back of that. So we got we had the full climb. Um, ink grade is kind of the, the official you know, Strava segment all the locals go for in, in that area. Um, they they all know it at the back of their hand, so it'd be that'd be a fun one for me to rip. The KOM was Andrew Tolansky, who took it from Levi Leipheimer. Um, so a good some good names on that list. Um, I I was feeling pretty good that weekend, but you know not a whole lot of uh, of great sleep on on wine tasting nights. This was part of um, Campo Velo, which is uh, Chef Chris Cosentino's event. Um, as you can see, I got a I got a great lead out from a, from a local junior on Team Swift, um, and now I'm headed up to this flat bit where the uh, another one of the ride leaders, uh, his name was Jens, was was looking to pace me. But it was so so twisty in this part that I was sort of scared to to be near anybody, and I just I just took the rip, um, kind of went went right around him. The uh, the pavement wasn't great. I don't know these turns. Um, I, I don't feel like crashing. <laughs> you trust a local flying around turns and, and he's gonna know it better than I am. Um, I think, I'll, I'll admit it, I, I probably got the data sync a little bit off. This one, it's, it's a pain in the butt to do that. But I noticed a part before where I'm kind of going into a turn and probably not pedaling as much as it says. So I think it's a few seconds off. I'm not sure which direction. Um, and I spent quite a while trying to get it right and, uh, and failing. So. The, the climb, the climb, yeah, see there, there's me coasting at 400 watts. That's, <laughs> that's how good I am. Um, but it starts a little kick at the beginning, the very beginning, and then this, this kind of flat bit, some downhill, some it, real twisty, bad pavement, a beautiful climb. Um, I did, I, I didn't, I don't recon most of these things. I have a chance to for, for this one because I was, I was doing the event all weekend. I kind of squeezed in this, this KOM attempt. Um, I, I had looked at the at the Wahoo. I had the live segment loaded in the the new the new bolt, um, which shows the the gradient progression. It didn't show the the twistiness of it. Really wasn't you know that's a different screen for one. That's the the map screen, um, but also just like something that doesn't occur to me to think about like a technical uphill. So that was not not super ideal in the in the pacing. But I was able to. Yeah, there we go, it's posting it at 400 watts again. Um, you get the idea, you get the idea. I'm, I'm mostly home, but... <clears throat> I just, I love the canopy on this climb. Um, no no cars, there's a, there's kind of a more major road, um, like half mile the other, sort of towards my left, if you look at it this way, that that's what the way the cars go. So that meant this road's pretty, pretty clean. A um, couple little redwoods up here, not not as many as I was hoping for. I miss the redwoods. So if you haven't seen them, it's one of those things like you know, the, yeah, it's a really big tree, and you're like, okay, I know what that's like, and then you get to see them, and you're like, oh, that's a really big tree. That's so cool. Um, highly recommend if you can go catch some redwoods one day. But right now we're just in Napa Valley, um, flying around, which awesome, awesome area. It was super hot that weekend. But I had a great time. Of course, there was some excellent food and uh, drinks. Definitely check out the full episode if, if you haven't. Or if you just like to watch me ripping Watts, you know, I've got that for you. As, as you can see, I'm a little optimistic at the beginning, a 13 minute effort. Um, and, and again, I know it's gonna get steeper, which, which means uh, 
you know, maybe maybe you want to save some for the end. The the way if you think about pacing, like if you blow up on a 10% grade, you can lose a lot of time. If you blow up on a flat, you can still sort of coast along. So if you think about the proportions of that, that's where you want to save your power. Um, and I I did that kind of backwards on this one. Like I I held on. At, at this point in the climb. I was probably 20 seconds up on the KOM, uh, so I was I was way up uh, and pretty confident that I was going to get it and have a little bit of fun. All I have to do is not completely fall apart, and I think I'm sort of realizing that around now that okay, this is you, you've been going too hot, so maybe you want to tone it down a notch. Uh, we can't go 450 all the way to the top. So up there, he just slowed down. That was a that was an aid station. We're actually passing right there to the right is one of the aid stations. Very rude. The, the only complaint I'll have about this event is uh, they had the aid station in the middle of the KOM attempt. So after this, I had to go back down to get a water, um, which isn't a real complaint because you're not supposed to do this on, on Fondo weekends. My Cookie Fondo one year, we had the aid station on one of the, the Strava challenges. That was. That was an oversight. People were complaining because we had a prize for that. <laughs> it was like 20 meters off too. So people were like, it didn't take me an hour to do the, yeah, you were stopping for cookies and your, your, your job didn't pick it up. Here, so now it's now it's kicked up. There was all the, all the flat 0%, the turns, and now it's 8%. And I'm like, I was doing 500 watts before. So now what am I gonna do? We're only halfway. So I'm, I'm still I'm still able to hold the, the low 400s, high threes, um, but I'm I definitely was realizing I'm going to pay for this. Eleven percent, ten percent. One of the things watching it, like I, I know I can go back there and put 20 seconds on myself. Uh, I think I think Tolansky's record held for four or five years already, so I'm not, not super stressed about losing this particular KOM. But I also know it was my best effort, and that's the part that that'll make you grumpy. Here I'm on seven percent. Just okay. Let's do 360. It's, uh, I think I ended up normalizing. When I look at Chapeau, the, they have the effective power as their, their calculation. That was uh, 450 watts. If you don't know what effective power is. At Chapeau, there's still a free two-week trial, so download it, play with your power files, check it out. I have links to all my stuff. I have links to all the little sponsors and partners in the descriptions. I think, I think people know that. I don't know if people ever go in the descriptions. Just go in the comments and say mean things about my body. I get to delete later. There we go. So yeah, three... 300s isn't ideal, uh, but I realize that there's, there's five minutes left in the climb, and you, I can't be, uh, be going all out. Cadence is good, I'm still riding smooth. I did have the, um, I had the Factor Ostro VAM for this one, which I, I think is definitely the right, the right bike for, for this effort, it's not crazy steep. I would say 7% average is the, is the line where I'd want to go with, with full weight. Um, this guy averages only four, and as you saw, there was a lot of flat. So I think I picked up a good bit of time on the flat bit that did not lose later. I did have the, uh, the speed suit on for this, not the long sleeve complete TT dork suit because I needed pockets, but the short sleeve with the, with the pockets um, from, from Starlight. Black Biz makes one of those. Um, highly recommend that one. If you're uh, group riding, you want to go fast, or you're, you're Strava hunting like some of us weirdos, uh, it's definitely worth a lot of time. Also, like kind of a deal if you look at the math. It's a you know, jersey and bibs in one. Like, all right, all right, Phil, you're feeling all right. You're up on the KOM. Let's not die. No, 
380 will do it. But I was looking at live seven. So here I, I went up to, there was a point where I was 30 seconds up on the KOM and then around here was probably when I started to lose that. Like I, I know I'm not gonna blow up and lose 30 seconds. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna get it as long as I don't have to stop. You know, like I'll settle in the threes, just get another mile done before we you know, do the tank. Again, just not not great pace. And tricky, tricky to pace a KOM you've ever seen before, but I'm being too hard on myself. But I knew, there's no excuse. I've done enough of these to know. When you're taking off the first five minutes at 480, it's, you're just not gonna be able to do that every day. Really quick, I'm not sure if you could see, there's these little road markers on the side that say like how many kilometers to go. Uh, very, very European. I'm not sure who put those up. Uh, I wonder if there's more in Napa Valley. If, there's a, if they have that on other climbs around there, leave a comment, let me know, I'm curious. It's a cute touch on, you know, on a climb ink grade that someone put a little Euro, or they have them on Alpe d'Huez, you know. So it's four percent. So now that it's not as steep, I'm taking advantage of. Okay, we're just going to really chill out on the watts for a little bit and save it for the next steep part. We're, we're getting there. Let's, let's back off so we can finish strong. Those, those little twenty watt swings. The difference at that at that effort. The difference between you know if you're if you're trying to average four ten, uh, three eighty does feel easy and 350 will kill you. Doesn't seem like a big swing, but it feels it. You notice there's not one car. This road was not closed. There's just there's just no cars out here. They're all they're all parked in the vineyards. Uh, getting hammered. Yeah, here we go. So <laughs> I said I was saving gas to, to finish strong. I, I was just I was just falling apart as uh, as part of it. Hanging on for dear life. Start the live segment. Now I'm now I'm probably 20 seconds up and, and getting to the end, so I'm gonna live. I'm glad it was shaded. I felt like old LaHonda, it's another, another KOM I, I need to film someday. Not, not too far from there, that's Palo Alto. The same, just like real narrow road, beautiful trees. There's a nice big one, it's probably Redwood. Right, I think this, this daylight is sort of the, the finished stretch. Yeah, I can feel it there. And I think the segment ended uh, not just yet, but you know, as as us Strava pros know, you got to go all the way to the stop sign. Um, but the live segment did did give me a good 20 seconds. It was like, all right, you can you can chill out. There we go. So now I'm trying to empty the tank, but there's uh, it's been empty for about three or four minutes. <laughs> That was a lesson in how to not pace a 15 minute effort. The, uh, I was good at the bottom, and then each glass of wine for the last couple nights came back to say hi. But I got it by like 20 seconds, a little more. So, it's good. I don't know if Andrew Lansley texts his emails, but he got one. <laughs>